Hey guys, I want to take a video showing you how I'm reading a 4x4 matrix keypad through a single pen. I know others have done it by arranging it, but I think I found a more elegant solution, which I'll show you in a little bit. So, a keypad, which is a 4x4 matrix, six resistors on the keypad, four diodes, and then another resistor. And I'll show you in a second here how it's wired up. So, positive, ground, and a single pen to be able to read the data off the keypad. So first let me show you how it's wired up. As you can see in that circuit I have a 1k, 2.2k, 3.3k, 220 ohm, 480 ohm, and 680 ohm resistors. And then I have another reference resistor down there which is constant. So I have four diodes and they all go to the one analog input. And I'll show you what the values look like in a moment. So down here, you can see that the blue line is what the raw values are. So on the bottom, you can see, so when button 1 is pressed through button 16, and the blue line was the raw analog value, so around it's 850 when button 1 is pressed, and around 250 when button 16 is pressed. And you could see the curve that it makes on the values, and that's what my resistor did, so it sequentially starts here, and as you press it in order, you get this curve. Now the blue line are the raw values, and the red line is a equation which somebody came up with me because I asked them to very kindly. So uh, as you can see, it's a pretty good fit, and it actually works pretty well. So let me show you the code real quick. Now what you see on the screen is the entire program. Give it a second here to focus. On the top I have a string with all my values because there's letters and symbols. It starts with one, two, three, and there's an A. Come on camera, focus. But it pretty much just correlates the number it returns to a string symbol. You might be able to tell even though it's blurry, it goes one, two, three, A, four, five, six, B, seven, eight, nine, C, star, zero. There you go, now you can see it. So that's the order, and I take the key numeric value, put it into index the string, and then I get the character that was pressed. So int key, and then a lockout, which I use so the button doesn't keep repeating, and I'll show you the guys in a second. Just set up the serial port, do the loop, so key equals get the key, and if, the, if a key was pressed, then printer, if it wasn't, do nothing, and then just the delay. And then here's my key function, if you let it focus in a second. As you can see, there is no ranging involved, and it's just a matter of doing one equation, which was mapped to the curve you guys have seen earlier. And I'll post it in the comments section too, if anybody's curious. So pretty much the entire thing is mapped by this function here. I don't need a bunch of if statements, I don't need a bunch of ranges. So this will tell you what key it is, and then index the array, and then return that key pretty much. Actually that's like and I next thing the array to do that up here. So pretty much real simple code, pretty simple wiring. As you guys as you guys have seen. And let me show you running real quick. There's one, two, three, eight, four, five, six, B, seven, eight, nine, so on and so forth. Now sometimes you will get an issue when you press a button, let's say five. You get five, 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 and I keep pressing it, and then every once in a while you'll see that there's an error there, like you see that star there. Like seven, five, five, five. And I think that's because I'm not really sure why that is. Could be because there's capacitance diodes, could be just a timing issue, because the way it's set up is uh, pretty much keep sampling it until the analog value is not equal to zero. So when any key is pressed, and I do have a delay in here, so when any key is pressed, 
wait 20 milliseconds and then read the actual value. So if you make this delay longer, it may help it. I'm not sure. But if I, you make it shorter, it becomes worse. So if you make that delay longer, it'll work better. You could suit it to your needs. Or you could have some kind of erase button or so on and so forth. But pretty much I find this worthwhile considering you could get all this data through a single analog input. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.